Echoes of Two Hearts By Dan Mason Part 5 He closed his eyes, leaning back in his chair as the enormity of it all washed over him. His decision to leave felt so certain just moments ago. He had been ready to walk away from the confusion, from the pain. But now, things were different. There was no easy way out, no path that didn't lead through the life growing inside Emily. I... Jason struggled to find the words, his voice faltering. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything right now, Emily replied, her voice soft and understanding. I just... I needed you to know. I can't do this alone, Jason. I know I've made mistakes, but these babies, they're a part of you too. Jason's throat tightened. He had never imagined himself as a father, especially not in a time of rebellion and war when nothing in the world made sense anymore. But now that the reality of it was before him, he knew deep down that he couldn't walk away. The life he once had, the life where he could simply escape the pain and confusion, was no longer an option. His heart might still be fractured by the loss of Sophia and the tangled mess of their shared lives, but these children, his children, deserved more than his heartbreak. I would never leave them, Jason said quietly, surprising himself with the firmness in his voice. He looked at Emily, seeing the relief flood her face, but there was more he needed to say. I don't know what this means for us, Emily. I don't know if I can ever forgive everything, but I won't abandon my children. I'll be here for them and for you, too, if that's what you want. Emily's eyes filled with tears, but she nodded, her grip on his hand tightening. That's all I can ask for, Jason. I just, I'm so sorry for everything. I never meant for it to be this way, but I'll be here too. I'll be here for them and for you. However, we figure this out. Jason looked at her and for the first time since Sophia's death, he saw something beyond the pain. There was still confusion, still uncertainty, but there was also a fragile thread of hope. They were bound together now in a way they couldn't escape, no matter what the future held. And as the rebellion raged on outside, as the world continued to tear itself apart, they would have to find a way to make sense of the lives they had created. He didn't know what would happen next, or how they would navigate the broken pieces of their past, but he knew one thing for certain. He couldn't walk away. Not now. Not ever. For the first time in what felt like forever, Jason allowed himself to think about the future. A future where two children would soon be born into a world on the brink. A boy and a girl. Twins. Just like the two women who had loved him. And somehow, amidst the uncertainty, he felt a glimmer of hope 